Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sanofo Taiwo, a chartered accountant and as well a task consultant. Today I am going to be teaching you on how to launch an essay. In other words, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as well click on notification bell to get my updated videos anytime it is uploading. Thanks. I am on the interface of the Microsoft Excel, but for a beginner, let me show you how to go about it. The first step is to go to your start menu. If you are using Windows 8, click on it, then move on to the search button here. You can type Microsoft. So before you, before you type it, finish, you will have this one. The idea I drop down one will come up. You can see a lot of Microsoft Office tools that that actually came on that are already embedded on the Microsoft Office. So though I'm using Microsoft Office 2007, you can click right now. We are going to work on Microsoft Office 2007. Just click on or double click on it. You can see that the interface has already came up. So in that case. There yeah, are series of menu that are available. Official, I'm going to tell you the the menu of each and every one. Okay, let me quickly explain the function of each interface here. Firstly, we have here you can see we call it uh, we call it title bar. Title bar. Normally, it contains the name of the work workbook. So, for instance, if probably you you work on an Excel, uh, Excel worksheet, and after you finish the work, you might like it to save the worksheet. So, so this is this book three Microsoft Excel is going to change. So, automatically, by doing this, if you press Control S. So this book three will automatically change to your predefined name you actually wanted to use for, or you, you actually want to name it, name your Microsoft Worksheet. Mm, on the second one, we here we call it off uh, Office button. Yes, Office button. So here, if you actually want to save any worksheet, you can see we have a series of drop down menu here we have new open save save as paint repair properties send publish and close so this particular icon it indicated in office button so in my the next one is here call it quick access to bar quick access to bar the function of this frequent circuit super is that it contains normally it contains frequently used icon and is located at this upper left hand corner of the display. Here. The major function is if actually working on on most of all these menu and you want your your function to display quickly or you want to assess any function here quickly you can add it to this quick access to bar instead of going or maneuvering to, to the different processes or rigorous processes so that is just the function of the two bar uh, quick access to bar the next one is the name box here here we call it name box the function of the name box is to identify each boxes we click on here. You can see it changes as well as I'm clicking on it, it changes. So the next on my case is we call it ribbon tabs here. We call it ribbon tabs. They are all called ribbon tabs. You can see the there is of functions it display here. We call it ribbon tabs. You can see. It's a series of drop down menu that 
function in an Excel worksheet. Another one is here. We call it worksheet tab. Worksheet tab. Instead of the function of this particular worksheet tab is that instead of you opening different or saving different worksheets or different work uh, or in different works in different work as other worksheets, you can as well save each and every one on this worksheet by organizing your work on a single worksheet rather than saving it on a different Z worksheet and selling or sourcing it from from everywhere. So this function is very very important. Another one is here is you call it two bar status bar sorry, sorry you call it status bar call it status bar you can see it here status bar so the most of this function is that you can adjust the resolution of the screen you can also well contrast adjust the contrast so you can see the way it's moving as I'm moving the cursor there so another function of the this interface is here we call it we call it the horizontal split control yes horizontal split control you can see horizontal split control you can see here we call it vertical split control vertical split control as I'm moving it you can see that my vertical movement is is moving this horizontal split control you can see my horizontal line is moving you can see from here to here horizontal line is moving while here is the vertical line is moving as well so here you can see it here this function here you call it formula bar so once when we start working on is there you will see what what i will be, I'll be displeasing on here so let's call it we call it formula bar so thank you for for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe to, to my channel and on my next lecture i'm going to be showing you on series of Excel workbook. Thank you.